Well, going forward, California has eliminated what we call cash bail. Uh, joining us this morning is Steve Wagstaff, district attorney from San Mateo County. For as long as I can remember, it was put up the bail and get out of jail. Cash on the head, and you guaranteed that you would get to court, and they'd let you walk. That's changed now. It has. We had the old system since the beginning of the state, and now we're into a no cash bail. Instead, we're on a pretrial assessment of somebody's of, uh, appropriateness for release. Okay, now in San Mateo County, you had some of the highest bails in, in the country, and people met them. You had one case of somebody who posted $64 million in bail in order to get out before trial on a murder charge. Yep. So, was the old system fair? No, clearly it was not. It favored the rich. The, nobody can disagree with that argument that the rich got out and the people who didn't have money very often had to stay in. Okay, why did we allow that for so long? Do you know? Because you know what? We didn't have that differential in money. The, that widespread, the one percenters, didn't exist. Now we've got it, and so it's just too wide a disparity, and it needed change. All right, so, but judges have always been sort of easy on setting the bail. And a lot of times we, you go over to the bail bondsman, you had to pay a fee. Other times, and you went to jail, right? It was, so it was an expensive system. But a lot of times we were releasing on your own recognizance. I mean, bail was sort of dropping down in the state. Is this new system we're putting in uh, any better? I think it is, because, well, you're right. There were loads, hundreds, thousands that were let out on their own recognizance with no money bail. Uh, this is going to guarantee, though, that everybody who is of that means can get out if they're safe to let go. Okay, now another difference is, let's say, take a case that's very in the, in the forefront of news here in the Bay Area, the ghost ship fire defendants, okay, two guys that are charged with not exactly setting the, they're not charged with setting the fire, but being involved in a warehouse that went up in flames and killed dozens of people. They're sitting in Santa Rita jail, and uh, one of the reasons is because they can't come up with the bail. Under this new system, would they likely have been released? It's possible. Uh, that would depend. I think it's likely they could have been because they don't have prior convictions. This was not an intentional killing, so it doesn't, may not fall into that. And so there's a good chance they might have been. And who's going to be making the call going forward? It'll be the judges, right? Uh, it, it will be the judges on anything that involves a death or anything like that. If it is not death, if it's just like car thefts and things like that, that's going to be made by a county department. Okay, now one of the interesting things about this bill was that going in, getting rid of this, what people felt was an unfair, favor the rich system, were uh, like the ACLU and others who were saying, okay, then what we're going to have is this analog, a sort of a computerized system that would have score points and you would get either be in or, or allowed bail. Uh, it switched to where judges are making the call, and now the ACLU is, talk, uh, is, is against it, and we also have others saying they're going to take this in referendum. What changed? That was the whole thing, is they realized when we take it, we just turn it over to a computer, you don't get the uh, fair evaluation. We still trust our judges. As Senator Hertzberg said, when did we stop trusting judges? Because that's what the computer did. And we know from some high profile cases, including one here in San Francisco, when you just rely on the computer, you do not get justice. And people get released sometimes. We had a murder occur because a guy was released where he never should have been out. Okay, final question. There, one of the big supporters of this new cash bail is uh, the Judicial Council, right? Yes. Yes. And that's the California Supreme Court. Yes. And in the California Constitution, it says that we have a bail system. So there's a chance that this could go in front of the Supreme Court that has been lobbying for it. How does that work? Isn't that interesting? We have that uh, dynamic right there that they will be the ones to decide if it meets California Constitution. This is not U.S. Supreme Court or federal. It's all California, and it's going to be fascinating to see how that constitutional evaluation occurs. And it's also possibly going to be referendums so that we will all be voting on it possibly in the next couple of years. Steve Wagstaff, I want to thank you for thank joining you. us. And now we're going to take a look at